Well, good afternoon. Nice to be with you this afternoon. Thanks so much for coming out on a beautiful uh, spring, sunny day. We always have to vie for attention with the beach and the coastline. So thanks for stepping away for this sweet 90 minutes or so to just be, the, the beach will be the waiting for you afterwards. I'm David Robinson, one of the pastors here, and we are delighted to host uh, really quality uh, music here on the coast. We're so grateful that the Northwest Piano Trio wants to keep coming back and sharing their gift with us. Uh, we are live streaming this, so in the next few minutes, if you want to text a family member or friend saying, go to beachcommunity.org for a great concert, you can do that, and then just turn off your phone, would you? I'm going to do that right now, because I forgot to do that. So, um, and uh, by the way, if you want to get to know more about the Northwest Piano Trio, you can go onto their website, which is northwestpianotrio.com, and read more about them. Uh, I want to give thanks to uh, Mike Ryder of University of Oregon. He's the piano technician for all of the grand pianos at the U of O. A hundred of them, half of them are Steinways. And he said, tuning this piano and playing it is a complete joy. It is completely amazing. And so thanks for Mike and also for Patrick Nofield and Lee, his wife Lisa and Escape Lodging. They are the co-sponsors of this along with Community Church because they not only housed Mike this past week so he could tune the piano to have Stephanie ready to play it, but they're also housing members of the trio tonight to be able to not have to send them back so they can walk on the beach. Uh, let's see a little bit about the Northwest Piano Trio. This is written up in your program on the back. It was founded in the fall of 2000. 14, the Northwest Piano Trio is based in Portland, Oregon, and they are committed to the performance of traditional classical music, you'll see some familiar names on your program today, while also exploring the music of the 20th and 21st century composers. Their goal is to appeal to a wide array of audiences in a varied settings, and we're glad that we're one of them. We are just so honored to be that way. Uh, from a time-honored concert hall to the less traditional local music venue, they are passionate about collaboration with artists of other disciplines to provide unique performances that give listeners a contemporary perspective on a non-contemporary art form. And with that, I'd like for you to give a warm coastal spring welcome to the Northwest Piano Trio. <laughs>
everybody. Thank you so much for being here. We love coming here so much. We've been excited about this since we did our Portland concert last weekend. So we're so happy to be here with you. And as many of you that have come to our concerts before may have noticed, we actually gave you a printed program today. That's not something that we normally do. But because of the way this program is structured in a sort of deconstructed fashion, we thought it would be helpful for you guys to have a printed program to sort of guide you through the seasons. So the Seasons of Dance is structured around Astor Piazzolla's Four Seasons of Buenos Aires. Um, and we have, that, that's sort of an homage, that piece, those pieces are an homage to Vivaldi's Four Seasons, which you are probably familiar with. And then we sort of, well, Esther, <laughs> took apart the rest of our pieces and very thoughtfully placed them in the sort of categories of the seasons. And we've had a lot of interesting and fun discussions about um, the way the seasons are different in the Southern Hemisphere. So when Piazzolo was writing, they were sort of opposite seasons. And Ernest Block, who you just heard, is actually an Oregon Coast resident, you, or was an Oregon Coast resident. And actually, that last piece reminds me very much of spring here. Uh, I actually got sunburned this morning on the beach. It was pouring rain when I got here, and then I got sunburned. <laughs> so um, there are many seasons uh, in life. There are seasons of change. There are seasons of weather, um, seasons for lots of things. And there are also seasons of dance. So many of the pieces that you will hear are dance works, and others are just things that we felt like went with the um, feeling of the season. So, uh, we have just finished spring, we're moving into summer, and we're very happy that you're here with us, and we hope you enjoy the rest of our program.
Well, we've come towards the end of the program. Thank you so much for being here. We have a couple pieces left, and we are now in, finally, the winter season. Doesn't quite feel like it in here, but we hope you'll feel the chill in your hearts as we're playing. <laughs> As Hannah mentioned before, we love coming here. You guys have been supporting us since the very beginning, and um, we are so grateful every time. We, we truly count down the days. Like, we go to Cannon Beach tomorrow. So thank you for having us. Thank you for showing your support by being here. That is honestly the most important thing. And for those of you who are able to give, we appreciate that as well. We are so lucky to do what we do here. Um, I was talking to an audience member last night who was pointing out that no one ever gets to be in this room at this exact moment listening to this music ever again. And that's you guys today, and that's us on stage, and we're so happy that you're here with us.
It's already on? Wonderful. Okay, we did plan one more for you this time. <laughs> we did. Uh, thank you all so much for being here. As Esther said before, we always get really excited to come here in particular. The energy is just great. And this piano is awesome. It is so great uh, that you maintain this, that you have it, and you allow artists uh, like myself in this group to use it. So thank you so much uh, for that. Um, shout out to everybody who is watching online. Is this better? I don't know. So it's okay. She's like, nope, that was better where we were. Um, my parents in Texas are watching. I know that Hannah's parents in Alaska are watching, and I think Esther's parents are watching from the back row, somewhere in the room. <laughs> yes, there they are, right, exactly. So. Um, we have a social media presence. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. We do have a, an email list um, that will announce our concerts such as this one. We do have one more concert in this series before we go on break for the fall. It is a Mother's Day event, so if anyone is interested in coming to the Portland area, it's going to be a house concert with some little hors d'oeuvres. It is always fun to do a concert in this kind of venue, but it's really fun to be in a living room up close and personal. So think about that. All of that information is on our website, northwestpianotrio.com. We do operate on a donation so thank you so much for your generosity. If you have even more cash or if you brought checks that you just, you're just you just dying uh, to put in that bowl, thank you so much. If you're watching online, you're in luck. Go to northwestpianotrio.com and you can donate. And we also have a mailbox where you can send that check. Okay, so this last piece is actually part of the Shostakovich um, piece that is on your program. There is one more movement that we're going to do called the polka, and uh, it's an earworm. So we hope you uh, leave dancing. And thank you very much for being here once again.